Hey guys, Target Cycle with FPV, and I've been in the middle of this repair. Forgot to start a video on it, so I'm gonna get right to it. And all that noise you hear, that's my son out there power washing, so good for him. He's kicking butt, and it's hot outside. Anyways, so this was sent to me. Um, customer had a hard time, could not get the um, um, S bus, could not get anything to show up in beta flight. Now, he was bound, but he couldn't get anything to show up in beta flight. Now, here's what I've done. Uh, there's been quite a bit of work done, actually. Uh, first of all, I pulled off all the wires here. You guys don't see that, but the owner who owns this will understand. Um, so they had two sets of wires here. They had the Cadex Vista wired to the S-Bus as well. Um, and then they also had um, uh, the ground wired. So I've removed those and cleaned up the soldering here. And then I went ahead and updated the firmware on this uh, um, R9MM. So here's what I'm gonna do though. I also changed it over because I'm taking this out another it's on UART2, but I'm going to take this and move it to TX1 and turn on um, F port. And so that's where I'm at right now. So I'm about to do that and I'm going to show you that it's work. Let me, sorry, let me kind of finagle this a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and solder this here. To... Okay. I also updated the firmware on the flight controller because that had not been done. Um, so anyways, now what I'm going to do is uh, I need to remove the wires here, all right? And the purpose of that is so that I can uh, put on a heat shrink on here before I close this up, okay? So we've got F port working, so we're getting telemetry and we're getting um, signal. Uh, and that's running onto this port here. Uh, onto his TX one, so you are one on the TX. Uh, what the heck was I doing? Oh yeah, I need the. Uh, oh, I need something thinner here. I'll use this one. I think this is the right diameter. Right, right with. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut this. here okay I'm gonna expose a little bit more of the wire here All right just like that okay And because we're going to use this as F port, we're actually going to use the uh, uninverted S bus at the bottom of the R9MM to get our signal and our telemetry on. So I'm going to go ahead and solder the yellow cable to that. So let me do that real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and solder the power. And then I'm going to go ahead and solder the ground. Perfect. Okay. Now, before I close it up, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the flight controller plugged in. I've already bound this. So here's my radio. And we'll go over the settings in beta flight later, but we should see this connect pretty quickly. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring over beta flight. Let's connect. Let's reset here, calibrate, and let's go to our receiver. Okay, so let's see. We have F port now. We're going to go to our ports and we're going to activate UR1. Save and reboot. Connect, and I believe after I did this, I want to say that under configuration, they had a uh, soft serial. And I want to say that on soft serial is where they had the GPS running. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Okay. Now let's connect. Let's go to our receiver tab. And you can see right here 
we have signal. Okay, now we have this set a little different. All right, so let me, uh, let's go ahead and flip this the way it needs to be. There we go, click save. Let's go to our ports. Okay, everything looks good there. Reset, calibrate. Yeah, and then we're good. So we have receiver now. Okay, we have everything functioning like we needed to. Looks good. And if we look at our telemetry screen, so let me just show you now here. Okay, so I'm going to hold the page button down, hold it down again, and I'm going to tell it to stop. I'm going to tell it to delete all sensors. Hit enter. Okay, now watch. When we say discover, hit enter and they all populate. So we know we have our telemetry working and we have our signal working, everything in beta flights working. So the question then is, okay, what were the settings? Well, this is the part I'll show you so that anybody who's trying to do F port can. Uh, first thing, let me see if I have that open. Bear with me a second. Okay, first thing is, uh, let me show you this. First thing is I did my updates to my R9M light behind here because this thing was screwing up. Halfway through this, this was going in and out, in and out. So I did my update, uh, not here obviously, right here. My access update to V1.3.0, okay? And then I did my update on the um, receiver. And I'm just gonna go backwards because I think it was on this page. Yeah, the R9MM. And I did the software update using access. Oh hell, where did it go? Sorry, hold on, it should be somewhere here. I'll go back there and I'll show you guys real quickly. Uh, R9MM, right here. And so that software update was 1.31, okay? Did this one right here. All right, once that was done, the next thing to do was to go into beta flight, okay? And look at your CLI and just type uh, set. Uh, I may still have it actually. Nah, I don't think. Um, so on our serial RX inverted, you can see here, it is uh, equals on. So you can see right here that we took serial RX inverted is on. And then if you wanna see the duplex, have duplex you hit enter and that's also on and with so serial rx inverted on and serial rx have duplex almost done can you hang in tight one second you okay uh they're both on uh the default's off so we have to turn both these on once they're both on and we save it this is working so everything here is now good i'm going to put this back together but i'm not i mean like the i think the customer is doing the work on the build i wasn't told to do anything but get this part done so I'm just gonna exit out of this, all right? And I will say that I'm extremely happy with the fact that this is working now. It's working perfectly. So I'm gonna heat shrink this closed, just like that. Put it all away, put it back together, and that'll be it. Any values the customer needs to put in, he can put in after the fact. But we're done, guys. So running that on F port worked out well. Moving it to UART1 worked out well. Uh, so, uh, and that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Always hit me up at uh, cyclonefpv.com. Please subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, guys, enjoy your weekend. God bless. Be safe. I'm going to go spend time with my kids now. You go spend time with your family. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.